Well, if half of what Rogers told me about you is true, it's still too good to believe. Now, take a look, Eli. Did I exaggerate so far? No wonder you've been keeping her under wraps. Hey, Wanda, come on in here. Listen, he doesn't know how lucky he is. My name may be on the door, but uh, I think you two better meet the real boss around here. Jenny Jameson, Roger Castle, Wanda Elliott. Hi. Hello. Jenny's coming to work for us. Oh, really? I just hope I can do the job. Do the job? Are you kidding? In a week, you'll probably be running the whole department. You know I want to see you all the time. Yeah. If uh, this man's disturbing you, I can have him thrown out. How you doing, Eli? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Jenny's whipping us into shape around here. She's the only person who knows where everything is. You wouldn't believe the paperwork that goes through this office. Well, yeah, tell me about it. I don't have time to open my mail. Well, don't stop the assembly line, pal. We may never get it started again. At least you could do is buy me a cup of coffee. I can't. I'd love to. They got a helicopter waiting for me. He's a good friend of yours, isn't he? Who's that? Roger Castle. Yeah. Why? Well, it's none of my business, but... Jenny's such a nice girl, don't you think? And what he's doing, it... Well, it stinks. What's that? Running after every woman in town while Jenny thinks he's working late. You know what she told me? She got to see him once last week. Terrific, huh? I don't know, maybe I should help her have some fun. Is it that bad? No, it's nothing. Yeah, I can tell. Look, why don't you let me take you to lunch? No, no, I'm not hungry. Either. And Jenny, look. What is it? And you've been like this for days. I haven't seen Roger around much. Is that it? I've been thinking about going back to New York. You know, my friends are back there. You can't. And... Absolutely not. I can never get anyone to replace you. You're the only one who knows where everything is around here. Besides, I, uh, I'd miss you. I'd miss you too, Eli, but... No buts. You're not leaving, and that's all there is to that. Now, why don't we have dinner tonight? I wouldn't be much fun. Another night? Right now, I just have to take this out first. No, I don't know. Eli, you're five minutes late. Yeah, I'm on the way. Hey, Jen? Yeah. I'll see you later. Okay. Hey, Jenny! Hey! Did you hear me? <laughs> what? Well, when you were getting into the elevator, I called you, but uh, oh, I no, lost I'm you. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I didn't. Hey, Jenny, what is it? What? Well, the last couple of days, you've been your old self again, but now it looks like you're back in the dumps. Oh, I just get down sometimes, that's all. Why don't you tell me about it? Come on, I'll buy you a drink. What the hell? It's better than sitting home alone. years. That's a long time to be together. For me, it was anyway. Roger was practically my whole life. There wasn't really anybody else before him. Patty, it's my roommate in New York. She never really believed he'd marry me. I never thought she'd be right. Well, maybe you've been lucky, Jen. Did you ever look at it that way? I've known Roger for years, longer than you have. He's always been a sharpshooter. And the one and only person he really loves is Roger Castle. Yeah, I was just so used to having him around, though, you know? I mean, even when he wasn't around. I know you're right. It's still hard for me. You're young, you're intelligent, you're beautiful. You've got your whole life ahead of you. You don't need Roger Castle anymore. Well, that's all academic, isn't it? Because it's obvious that Roger doesn't need me. <laughs> you, I am... Um, I don't know. I'm just not used to being alone. You don't have to be alone, Jim. 
disappoint you. I don't know how to ask. Well, just ask. Would you come home with me tonight? Listen, Jenny, maybe we better for... <laughs> you go first. But no, you. Jenny, I know how you're feeling about Roger. And, uh... I mean, I want to be with you. You know that. But there's something that... I know, Eli. You see, I want to... Uh, I want to be with you for me, not because Roger isn't here. Well, you are. Yeah, well, I guess I don't feel it. Eli, I'm very confused. In one moment, I'm feeling one way, and then the next, I, uh, I don't know what to think or how to feel or anything. I'm very afraid, but I'm not quite sure what of. Jenny, that's all right. No, you see, it's not all right. It's like, um... It's like I'm holding on to something and I can't let go. Roger. Eli, you're so nice. I mean it. I'm serious. There's no one else in the world that I could have asked to come with me. Understand? Yeah. It's getting late. You don't go away like please. Jen, listen, this please is... Please stay with me. Honey, you know I do anything you want. It would help me not to be afraid, Eli. Please stay with me. You know I will. I'm tired. Hey, those are active files. Oh, yeah? They haven't been released yet. We're right in the middle of an investigation. Look, authorization's at the desk inside. Are you sure you've got the right material? Well, let me give it a check here, fella. Yeah, Loman Hotels International, right? Yeah, but this is wrong. We're using all this stuff. Look, mister, all I do is pick up and deliver. I don't know about the rest of it. Where are you taking it? Department of the Treasury. Look, I'm going to go in and make a phone call just to make sure. Hold it up till I get back. Excuse me, ladies. Yeah, this is McGinn. Let me talk to him. Hold on. Marv? Yeah. Listen, the Loman Hotel's international records. They're loading him onto a truck. Yeah, Marv, it stinks. Look, we've got an investigation going on, too, and we're supposed to be an independent agency. Well, who gave the okay? I don't care if the Secretary of the Treasury signed it. I don't care if God Almighty and even Richard Monson did. Somebody's letting Loman off the hook and they're hosing us good. <laughs> 